Hello fellow Titan Quest fans. So as promised, on the 2nd of August the trailer has dropped for Titan Quest 2. So let's check it out together. So guys, the trailer has dropped and my jaw has dropped because the trailer is awesome. Let's go over it together and I explain some things. Maybe I pause sometimes in the background, a couple of times. Yeah, um, this is the first frame and over here we see already um, an important area because you can explore this and um, open this chest. So it's a, it's a hint for the player that you can jump down here, go find your path and go to the secret chest. It's really awesome. Uh, I mean, it's the first frame. <laughs> okay, let's go. So this is in-game graphics because we already saw this shot in a screenshot. Yeah, the music is a banger. Ah, oh, let's pause for a second. This one is a, a town, one of the earliest towns, maybe. Yeah, and it's it's really well made. It looks it looks really realistic. Some NPCs here that you can talk with, or maybe not. I don't know. Awesome. Yeah, that's another town. Ah, uh, this one is a an area which is abandoned, I guess, which with old houses which look. Absolutely realistic. Yeah, the waterfall looks so good. Yeah, this is actually also in-game graphics, I think. Maybe on the character screen you can take a look at your character um, f with a front view. Maybe I think it's, it's kind of something like this. Yeah, now we see the first time real gameplay. It's a warfare hero, uh, um, hero with a big axe fighting some skeletons. Yeah. Nice, and he's doing a leap slam attack or something. Yeah, the music is a banger. Now the same hero is fighting some crabs. Ah, now it's getting interesting. This is the, the skill. Um, screen. So we see the two masteries, Warfare and Storm. Ah, I see. And as I um, expected, we got this thermometer on the left that you can activate, put some points in, and then you can activate skills depending on the level. See, if you like get to a higher level, you level the thermometer up and you unlock these kinds of skills. And for example, I think, yeah, this, this guy is putting some modifiers for a skill. So the skill works like this. He's doing a, a leap slam, which is this skill. Leap slam, yeah, jump through the air and hit the enemies. Yeah, let's go over it once again. You see, um, this skill has several modifiers. And depending on how you, how you put attribute points in your character, you unlock several different modifiers. So um, these modifiers are all the modifiers for the skill Leap Slam. Another player is putting one of this, which gives additional landing damage. Yeah, he's putting one in this, additional landing damage, and another one, another modifier, for the cooldown recharge. Plus one cooldown recharge means minus one second for the cooldown for the skill. Yeah, and the skill cooldown zero, I don't know what this means. Doesn't have any cooldowns, no cost. Yeah. I don't know, and the modifiers is listed here. That's the first one. Yeah, and now clicked it and he has another modifier. Okay, now I see how it works. It's not like the old Titan Quest where with one skill had another one linked to it, which, which gave the skill modifiers, but now we can choose several different modifiers for each skill. Yeah, this gives a lot more depth to the skill and um, attribute point system. Yeah, okay, that's a different hero now. That's a mage hero who's, who's good with ice magic. That skill you that you see here, I think um, we saw it also on the warfare hero before. I think it's a something like Squall for, from Titan Quest 1, if you remember it. 
which um, reduce the resistances of everyone in the circle or, or the enemies. I think this one looks is it, it has to be something uh, similar. Yeah, he's using some ice shards, he's using a lightning attack. We also have this one. Yeah, it's freezing them. Okay, this here is opening chests. These items seem to be the, um, I think, I don't know, maybe the magic ones. Yeah, and here we saw, see a green item. I think that's a rare item. The yellow one is a magic one with, and the green one seems rare, I don't know. Ah, we have to rewind. This was really fast. Yeah, and this screen basically confirms another thing, that you can customize your hero to a big extent. You can choose the body type, I don't know body type, but you know, the skin color, facial hair, and some, I guess you can choose from several uh, different options for male and female heroes. In this we only see male heroes. So this was really fast. Let's go. Yeah, this looks like a shaman type hero, but he looks really tanky. Looks interesting, I don't know, maybe some kind of hybrid. This one is a mage for sure. The, the staff looks like a let unique item. And he also has a beard, so you can definitely choose your facial hairstyle from different options. I love this customization. Yeah, he also, this is obviously a <laughs> melee hero, and he also has a legendary weapon. And this looks like a set also. Oh, he had a ranged hero, oh, <laughs> this was really fast. Yeah, a ranged hero. Looks also really good. Kind of intimidating with, with the realistic helmet. Yeah, this is a dual wield hero. I don't we we saw the Warfare Mastery earlier. Where was it? Here. This was said Warfare. I don't know if it gives a lot of skills that have dual wield. This might be a dual wield. I don't know, maybe there will be a whole different mastery that that enables dual wield styles that doesn't have anything to do with mastery. In the first game, Warfare was the mastery that gave you dual wield abilities. Yeah, we were at this point. The range here, the dual wield. Yeah, <laughs> the Viking style here with the big axe. I don't know, some kind of hybrid. Yeah, another dual wield hero. And now we see this this one monster from before. This one is a mini boss. Yeah, and we see some different abilities and how the fighting works. Yeah, it looks really awesome. Awesome trailer. Wishlist now. Yeah, I hope it would be available. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Gefördert durch Bundesministerium für Verkehr und digitale Infrastruktur. That was what I was saying earlier in my um, series. Yeah, it was um, funded with 2.5 million by some German ministry for digital infrastructure and um, transport. It really was transport. Some some viewer uh, criticized me for saying it was transport. It really was. <laughs> Okay guys, to sum it up, the trailer really looks good. The gameplay promises to be a lot of fun. The scenery looks really um, astonishing. Yeah, look at this. I mean, I just want to put out my blanket here and go for a swim. It looks so good, like on a holiday, even better. I don't know. Yeah, the trailer had several things confirmed about the facial hair and so on, skin color, blah blah. Yeah, and, uh, um, looking over the YouTube comments for the trailer video, there were a bunch of comments saying, 
yeah, we need the physics of Titan Quest 1 because it was really cool that you could punch a satyr and it was flying through the air, it was flying to the moon. And I like this kind of aspect, and uh, I like this aspect very much too. And I don't know, the trailer somewhat confirms this. Let me go over this because there was one scene, yeah, here, where the, the Leap Slam dude was hitting a crab. You got this crab, boom, you know, see it flies through the air, boop, yeah, and this is this ragdoll physics that I was uh, talking about, This ra these ragdolls will be in the game, when the hero gets stronger, I think the ragdolls will fly all over the place, but yeah, okay guys, um, this is it for the trailer so far. Um, I will make another video this month because I can make it to Cologne when the, you know, at Gamescom in Cologne at the 21st it starts. I'm going there too and I will cover the everything of the Gamescom for you and especially Titan Quest 2. I mean, I will only go there for Titan Quest 2, but <laughs> look at all the other stuff a little bit. And most importantly, play Titan Quest 2 with some live commentary of mine. I'm really looking forward to that. Please stay tuned, drop a like, a sub if you want. Yeah, and help me out with the channel, uh, with, a, with a comment if you want. If you want to help out my channel. <laughs> yeah guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I like the trailer, I'm blown away by the trailer. I can't wait to play this. I don't know. Maybe because I was a massive fan of Titan Quest 1. Yeah, this looks like a really good um, continuation of this series. Yeah, I'm at a loss for words. The, the gameplay looks really fun here. Dodge the mini boss and, and stuff. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, stay tuned for for the, the end of the, this month when my another video will come out of mine. See you around. Bye.